Congratulations to every North Dakotan. This is ours. This is our history from prehistoric times to pioneer times to the present. This is our history, and it will be told in such a wonderful way. Thank you to all of you, to everyone who's helped make this happen, and congratulations. My youngest daughter, Nancy, here, who someday I, I hope will be uh, maybe running for governor in this state. <laughs> perspective to Merle. As I think back to the spring of 1971, I recall contacting former North Dakota governors John Davis and Norman Brensdale. We three governors agreed that North Dakota needed a bipartisan effort to fund and establish a North Dakota heritage. Park. Art would be truly proud and pleased, but he would also be the first to say that it has been a job well done by all those who worked to make it help but think that our, uh, those who preceded us to this special spot in the Northern Plains, and our ancestors, including Native Americans, and our great grandparents, grandparents, parents, etc., are smiling right now as we dedicate the expansion on a day of bright sunshine and 10 below zero weather. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here, is the thought. Those folks had the, the metal and the perseverance to settle this part of the world and, and prosper here. That North Dakota has been surrounded by really good people. And that is the strength of our state. That's what's given us the notoriety. That's what's given us the attention of North Dakota. When I first started peeking out beyond the borders of North Dakota, and going to other places, people would say, from where are you? And I'd often kind of duck my head a little bit and quietly say, oh, North Dakota. <laughs> but I soon learned in my travels of the high esteem in which North Dakotans are held. And Basin Electric was one of our major donors. Mike will give remarks in just a minute. But to me, personally, I've been coming to the Heritage Center since I've been a little kid, first across the street, and then this facility, that's what this place is about. This place is about context. It's about the ideas that we have heard about and the moments that have shaped us over the last years. And it's putting those things together and understanding where we've been. And without understanding where we've been, we have very little sense of where we're going and what's important. So for that, I again appreciate what you do here. Now, I'd like to share another little saying, and it's a little more contemporary. It's uh, the early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. <laughs> now, that's a simple way of saying that there's risk in going first. And I'm very proud that, that Basin Electric, whom I work for, and the cooperatives of North Dakota, Dennis Hill, the RECs, Great River Energy, Minn Kota Power, others, stepped forward and took the risk of moving forward. And I must say that that risk compared to other adventures that we go through was much smaller in this context. The sense of working with Merle, working with Virginia, working with the support of the, uh, all the state legislators and governors, that risk was very small compared to some of the other things. But I am proud that the cooperatives stepped forward, and I'm proud that the uh, part of the expansion is going to be named after the Touchstone Energy Cooperatives and we hope that that will stand as a symbol for many years to come. We not only have a great past, but we have a fantastic present and, and a wonderful future. I don't know what the future holds. I do know this, that uh, energy is the byword of the first decade of the 21st century. What makes North Dakota a standout place is our energy companies and our energy production. And you can feel the energy in this place today. Uh, the average American household uses energy-consuming appliances and automobiles uh, to replace those. If you were living in Roman times, you would have to own a hundred Roman slaves to replace what your household energy-consuming appliances do for you. That's what these energy producers do for us on a day-by-day -day basis. But what they've recently done 
what they've recently done is stepped up and donated millions of dollars to this cause. I am proud to be their friend. I'm proud to be involved with them. I'm looking forward to it. We are going to deliver an unbelievable 125th birthday present to the state of North Dakota. I think Thank the you. Heritage Center is amazing because there's so much North Dakota history within its walls. History that goes back a long way. The best time I ever had at the Heritage Center was when I went behind the scenes to, to see the, them work on Dakota the Dynamo. Dakota is a cool exhibit because a lot of people, especially kids, like it. It's a dino mummy found in North Dakota and it's really special. That's what's so great about the Heritage Center expansion. There can be more. We can see more exhibits like Dakota and all the other historical places. What is the character of the, of the inventors in North Dakota, the people who changed society in North Dakota, created businesses, built machines, done things of merit in North Dakota? What is the spirit of those individuals? And that was what we wanted the new Heritage Center to reflect. We wanted the character of the people of North Dakota, their spirit to be in this building. And from each of those meetings, we came to see how opportunity, inspiration, and innovation were the words that really told the story of the people of North Dakota. Group four, this is a side event. One, two, three, here we go.